Let's do an overview of Microsoft Outlook Web App, sometimes called Web Access, in Exchange Server 2019. So you can see at the top we have our URL, and typically what you want to do is put in the domain name forward slash OWA. And we have a certificate, so we can see that the certificate is making sure that our site is safe to log in. And now we're going to sign in. This is all part of a LinkedIn Lynda.com course called Exchange Server 2019 Administration and also Deploying Exchange Server 2019 in case you have an account with them. So here we have the Outlook web app and the way it looks we see the administrator mailbox is what we logged in as and it's going to look the same no matter who you log in as long as they have their mailbox set up. We've got the inbox, sent items, deleted, junk mail, etc. So if I click on new this is what a new email looks like. I can click on to and pull from the gal or global address list if I need to. So I'll type in Tom it finds Tom here from my list of people I've previously emailed, or I can click on search directory and it'll find anybody with the name of Tom. I'll save, and we see Tom in our list. Now if I've already emailed Tom before, I can just go ahead and type Tom and it automatically adds it in, which is great. We can also CC if we'd like, add a subject, and we can go into the body. We can also highlight the area and we can change the font. We can make it bigger, smaller, etc. Change the font style, bold. If we click on the font button, we can choose a font size from that list. We can also hit the drop down and see other things we can add as well. And we can attach by clicking on the paper clip, we can attach a document. So it pulls up from our file explorer. And we can just pick any document that we'd like. And I've attached the BitLocker logs. Those are exciting. And if I change my mind, I can click Discard. I can also click the three dots, and we can see some other options, such as I can set the importance. I can switch to plain text if you're having trouble emailing to people and they can't tell what it is that you're sending them because of, a, of an issue with HTML or rich text being sent. And we have check for accessibility issues in case anybody has those kinds of needs as well. And we'll click send. So we have some typical things here with our Outlook web app, but uh, we also have some other things as well. We've got the calendar, we've got the contacts and things like that. But before we get there, I just want to click on the gear up in the top. So if I click on that, you can see there's a lot of other options that we can do, such as we can go to automatic replies, and we can set up out of office replies if we want here. And if we click that, we again, we can click on display settings. And basically this changes where the reading pane is. Let's say, let's change it to the bottom this time. Let's click OK. And we'll be able to see that better if we click on deleted items and we click on that. And we can see the reading pane now is on the bottom instead of on the right. And if we click on the gear again, we can manage add-ins. There's some third-party add-ins we can do, offline settings. And this is a really neat feature. It allows us to cache the email to the local hard drive. Now, before we were only able to do this using Outlook, but now we can do that using the web version of Outlook as well. So if we click on Turn on Offline Access, then it'll go ahead and save all of our email right to our computer. So even if I can't connect to my Exchange server, I can see all my old email and wherever that email is. And we have theme options. We can click on that and we see some various different themes. Let's go ahead and choose the ocean. That's kind of nice. Click OK. Click on the gear again and we have options itself. Now options, there are dozens of different things that we can change in here. Any one of these we have various different things we can change inside each of these options such as email signatures, message formats, etc. So de definitely take a look at that and uh, there's also a general tab here. You can do things like change your password as well. Let's change gears and click on the three dots in the top left and go from mail to calendar. So if we click on calendar we see our calendar for the week. We can certainly change that. We can change it to the month 
And we can change it to the day if we want as well. We can also add a calendar. So if you want to add a second calendar, you can do that here. You can also add a calendar from a file, like by importing it from the internet or from the directory. So lots of great uh, options here. We can also share our calendar as well. We can share that with other people. And there's even a way we can share it on the internet. Let's click on the dots again, and this time we'll click on people. This is basically what we used to call our contacts, but now it's called people, but it shows up as your contacts in the list. And from here we can click on a new contact. And these would be people outside of your organization. You're not going to add contacts for people you already have because it's already in the global address list. So if I add in Abby Normal, I can put in uh, Abby's uh, email address. And I can put it in display, add in phone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Once I'm done, I click Save, and now I have a contact. If I like, I can also go into Lists and create a new contact list. So I can take all the contacts I've created, and I can create a list of them. So that way I can email all of them at once. Let's click on the dots again and click on Tasks. Here's where we can create tasks that will remind us to do various different things. Uh, if we want, we can click on New, and we'll say the subject is going to be Take Out the Garbage. There we go. It's due on whatever day we want. And we can put in more information. We can put in smiley faces if we want. Uh, we can show more details, so lots of different things we can do. We can also attach files if we want to as well. If we click on Charm, it shows various different icons that we can insert. And if we don't want it, we can click Discard, but let's go ahead and save it. So in four days, we're going to get a message that will pop up similar to a calendar appointment that says Take Out the Garbage. And let's say we did take out the garbage. It's all done. We'll just click on Complete. And then that task moves down into the Tasks area. So all I have to do to see that is click on the Active button and click on Completed, or just click All. And it shows that we took out the garbage and it automatically put a line through it because we'd already taken care of it. If we want, we can also highlight it and delete it. And we'll go back to Mail. And that gives you an overview of our Outlook web app for Exchange Server 2019. Lots of great new features. And a lot of the old ones, fortunately, they did not get rid of. So we're pretty lucky about that. You may see similar features in the Office 365 Outlook web app because it's going to be uh, very similar to what you see here. You might see some slightly different features because Microsoft constantly is updating the Office 365 version. However, the uh, Exchange Server 2019 version is going to be pretty much uh, the way you see here for the duration of the product.